morning everybody if you watched yesterday's video you seen me pick up uh stop excuse me at this uh guy's house he actually pulled up beside my truck and said hey you need to follow me i've been looking for you so i followed him and he brought me over to his place and i can see his door is open already so he's up early he said come get this goodness i got for you so here we are dale mcpherson uh, I think that's what, how you say that last name. I'm here, and I'll bet you he's going to come out and see me this morning. Uh, I told him I was going to come here today just to grab all the, uh, the cords, maybe pull off some motors off the lawnmowers, all that kind of good stuff. And then maybe he'll uh, help me load some of it with his tractor. And then we'll go from there. He's up. Mr. Dale brought me around and showed me some scrap metal it's kindly all over the place so uh, I got these two pieces and I believe that pressure washer but I'll ask him maybe even that battery that'd be nice what do we got here we've got an air conditioner got a washing machine or dryer washing machine dryer we got a dryer so yeah cutting cords oh yeah look at that nice cord cutting the cords and hopefully getting the motors out of these things is my plan for the day Number one. What a beautiful day. It's gonna rain. But, I'll be honest, I don't care about the rain don't care about the rain so much So today I'm basically just here to hopefully pull motors. Pull motors, cut cords. It's a square bit. That's a square bit on a dryer. Yep. Gosh, do I have a square bit? Oh, Grandpa. Oh, I don't usually carry square bits with me. Well, that's not good. Sometimes a different Phillips bit will work. We'll see what happens here. It's Phillips or square, but if you don't have their perfect number two bit, Ah, mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are everywhere. There, showing me the goodness. What are these? Ah, star bits. Well, isn't that something? Square bits, star bits, Phillips bits. These things are incredible. He. Oh, it's a smaller bit than I don't have. All right, well, guess what? I don't need to do that anyway. 
Right. Yeah, I don't need to do that anyway. I'm not going to sweat that at all. What I am going to do is just cut the wires out of that part. If you don't get them apart, if it, if it doesn't come apart quick, I don't mess with it. Let's fold that back and get it out of my way. If you just pull all these things, you will end up with a little bit of brass. Pop them out of their things there instead of cutting them. I just throw all this stuff into the back of my truck. Okay, I brought my bug spray for one reason. Because I had a feeling, being wet as it's been, out in the field, we'd have bugs. Like mosquitoes, and we do. I brought me some stuff for them suckers. Knock them down. That's right. Get all the white as you can. and dryers and refrigerators all over the place he didn't say anything about them yesterday these two some over there so I'm betting you that he'll probably let them go too but we won't take anything before we know 100% whatever you do if somebody give you something make sure that they give it to you grandpa's blessed never tore one of these things apart but so much plastic on it I'm gonna leave it just like it is scrapped all right that's that pile let's move on look at that pile look at that pile that's a full load so don't touch anything there don't touch it nothing 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 but all this, let's get it loaded. Cutting cords and throwing stuff on. Well, main th reason why I wanted to come down here today was just so I could cut all these cords because he does have a tractor. He said, anything you can't load, let it sit. I'll put my tractor on it. We'll get it loaded. I said, you are the man. Well, anything that I can't load, or I don't want to take apart, he'll help me with. If I can, I'm going to get it on there. My day. My day. Get it right out of the field. That's how you do it. Tomorrow, my buddy Bill is going to help me here on anything that I don't get today. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to get a bunch today. Whatever I get today, I ain't got to worry about tomorrow. Right, I'm the list. <coughs> Excuse me.
these things here ain't worth much um, but they always have a beautiful little 10 or 15 foot cord on it so if you go ahead and recover that you already started ahead because the rest of it is shred keep the plastic keep the uh keep the cords that's a dollar five a pound all day oh i know somebody's looking for a faucet i wonder what's wrong with that one it's broken yep but these contain goodness that's brass right there that's brass do not throw them things away even if you turn it in as dirty brass you're still going to get dirty brass price do that Yeah, we got goodness everywhere. Look at this stuff. We got electrical cords. We got motors. Oh, that might be a nice motor right there. Look at that. that's a fan motor. A friend of mine is looking for fan motors. I can't take all the plastic. I have to set this aside. I'm taking plastic. I'm sure he doesn't want me to take this stuff. I mean, I'm sure he'd love to have me take it. I think he, he's not expecting me to take it, I should say. He's giving me scrap metal, not garbage. I'll process all that later on when I get home with it. To say hello to some of my regular people on my channel that loved leaving comments I love reading them and I love replying to them so thank you for that appreciate everybody that leaves comments I mean I love for you to come watch my videos but I really love comments that's what I respond to. Comments. So, today, if I can load it, I'll load it. Um, if I can't, I'll leave it for him to help me with the tractor tomorrow. When I got my buddy Bill with me. Anyway, this will be fun. This is a fun project. No telling what you're gonna run into though out in a field like this. You know how things like to make nests like hornets and stuff like this. What have we got here? I might be able to get that off. Let's see what I got for tools. Mosquitoes eating me up. See that big old hornet's nest down there? It's a mud dauber. Mud dauber. Them things will mess you up. A spider down there laying right next to it. Oh, there he is. That's that hornet. He's back. That's a beast. He's back, but he's gonna be dead. Sorry. He's like, dude, you're in my, this is my house. My house, my babies. I don't know where he went.
spiders don't even like this stuff to be honest with you oh yeah they're down there too spideys are there Kinds of spideys, holy smoke. Goodness gracious. I'm gonna put my hands in there. turning spinning everything's turning not good not good these things can be a pain in the butt that's all right we'll leave it just like that for the scrap yard to have like i told him i'm gonna end up with a load out of here today i am i am leaving here with a load whatever's left tomorrow will be tomorrow fortunately we got a lot of clouds going on right now and I actually came here intentionally um, because of the clouds to make the best of this load here trying to make the best of it Overcast for aluminum. Nice overcast day. God, I got some wire. Ooh. This is this is considered light duty wire don't get a lot for it but it's sitting right there in your face grab it throw it in the bucket it only takes a minute if that you can also grab them other things that are in there little motor things or whatever I don't normally I don't anything that I can get real quick is a blessing I don't necessarily save anything that's in there. Mm. Let's make the best of this load, Grandpa. Fill every nook and cranny. As a matter of fact, that will go in the dryer more than likely oh another one of them hot water tanks it does not have much to it though there's some brassy stuff in there might want to 
can go ahead and just hold on to. But let's see here. Let's see what's worth saving here or not. I can even get it apart. bit of goodness in there nothing like what I saw in my last one might be able to go ahead and cut a nugget or two out of it get a few of these copper nuggets there's some brassy nuggets in there too just not whew, sure that they'll come out easy enough for me to make it worth my while today Thin uh, copper right here, really super thin tubing. Look at that, really thin. Nope, I had a feeling that was going to be the case. But <clears throat> I'll go ahead and take this piece off and save it. And we'll process that later at the house. That's some good brass on that. Go check out Big Country Scrapper. He has a channel where he does a bunch of them things. One piece at a time, baby. One piece at a time. A few of these hot water things. A couple of them. They are so rusted. Feel like it's gonna come apart easy enough to make it worth it hey if it starts raining on me i'll go to the scrapyard this guy be here tomorrow and i'll have mr bill with me tomorrow between all of us we'll be able to finish this up tomorrow that's the plan that is the plan guys but until then look at this goodness look at this don't throw that stuff away. Heavy steel. Yeah. Sir, don't throw any heavy steel away. Hmm. Before I'm done here, I might be wanting to throw that stuff in the back of the truck instead of on the, on the tailgate like that. Dollar five a pound, 15 cents a pound for the plugs. I'm telling you guys I'm just so happy um, just to be here I mean just to be here I'm happy uh, a lot of people aren't able to get up and do stuff like this anymore and they want to I need to put some stuff in there get it out of my way Maximize the space. Maximize the space. Be amazed what would fit in the dryer. Be amazed what would fit in the dryer.
you want to. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm sure <coughs> all that's gonna have to go in the back of the truck. Hornets. Oh, sometimes they can be on there so hard that they won't turn. Sometimes. Sometimes. And if you hit them, they'll loosen up. But sometimes they won't. Oh, sometimes they will. Come on, get on there. Beautiful. Will you go? Sometimes it's stuck. Now I got to deal with the blade. I got the three bolts off. Three bolts. I don't see it. That's it. Okay, now I gotta get the blade off. Let's see if we can do that. Mm -hmm. The blade. Nine sixteenths, maybe. <sighs> Nine sixteenths? Nope, that's bigger than that. I'm definitely thinking five eighths. Let's see what we got here. Is that you? Yes, it is. All right, you know. Probably ought to hit it. Sometimes that'll help you. Sometimes it won't. But I can tell you that lawnmower is worth a lot more money torn down. Alright, so we all know that I need a half inch drive in order to make these work sometimes. So I do need to get a bigger drive. This is a little 3 8 drive system here, and I don't, it's not enough, really. Alright. And, if you hit it with a hammer like that, you will knock it out of shape. You might have to knock your thing on there. Hey, I'm just having fun. So, next thing would be breaker bar or well, that thing is still traveling I know it came this way looks like I lost a socket 
see what's in her. Bit of goodness right there. Bit of brass. Oh, nice breeze. Love the breeze. Sure does make a difference. Uh -huh. Goodness, these things got motors in them. Sometimes they can be a pain in the butt to get to. Sometimes they're not. There we go. Let's see what it is. See if it's worth getting the motor out of this thing. Get the motor. Now, in order to get this part out, you have to take the screws out in the top. That part will not come out without taking out these screws. Right here. Right here. Now, I'll drop that. Get out of there. money I heard money did you hear it oh there's money in there money money
Look at the money. Look at the money. Oh my word. <laughs> oh my word. Look at that. I told you I heard money. Well, these people are throwing away money. Look at that. Goodness gracious. Somebody just could not remember to empty their pockets. Apparently. Wow. Some most I've ever found in a dryer. I mean, good Lord, look at it all. <laughs> uh, I got $5 worth of money right here. I mean, it's a piggy bank. Oh, my word, handfuls. And, oh, a 50 cent piece. 1971, 50 cent piece. How cool is that? I found a 50 cent piece. Oh, my word, there's just money everywhere. I got a whole handful of money. Yep, a whole handful. Of, I can't even hold it all in one hand. It's still coming. Oh, quarter, hold it. Another quarter. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Man, it's just falling out of my hand. What's the most you ever found in a dryer? That's the most I ever found. And I don't know how much it is, but it is a whole daggum handful of money, including 50 cent pieces. Look at that. Put it on my floorboard. Down here on my weights, because it's nasty. Look at that, goodness gracious. That's a lot of money. My floorboard's a mess, I know. That's because I work out of my truck and I don't throw my cups away every time I get a coffee. And I get a lot of coffee. Matter of fact, I lost my coffee this morning, dadgummit. That was a good one. And the only reason why I really took that apart was to see how hard or easy it would be to snap that motor out of there. And it doesn't look like it would be too hard. Let's get at it. Yeah. Uh-oh, spiders in here too. Man, I hate spiders. I hate spiders. Goodness. Hmm. All right, these things got a clip on them right here. Pop that clip right there. That holds this side of the motor down. Now what you got to deal with is this side. And you got that little, notice that plastic fan right there. That's basically all that holds it in there now. And that nut. It fall out of there pretty easy. Pretty easy. Like that, you got a motor. Is it a copper motor? Nope. That's aluminum. But it's still going to be more than the dryer was. So let's get this thing put in there and fill it up with stuff. And that, that makes loading a dryer pretty easy. Oh, yeah. And I don't sell these bins as burn barrels. I have burn barrels that I use actually. So I sell real burn barrels, 55 gallon drums. Oh yeah.
it up, fill it around it up. I might even fill that up. Hey, one piece at a time, guys. One piece at a time. Let's get a bunch of that and throw it in there. Let's get a bunch of that and throw it in there. All right, the right time. I'm going to stop and take me a quick break. Oh, I can't believe I lost my coffee first thing this morning. Dang, gum it. Keep on going, baby. Break's over. Grandpa, get to work. Money to be made. Yeah. Today's Friday. I can't even believe it's Friday. The weeks are flying by faster than faster than I want them to guys I'm so disappointed how fast time is going by nowadays the older I get the faster old father time picks up man, and it's just killing me I was thinking the other night you know it was uh it was not that long ago that um i was only 16 years old moving out of my dad's house um and into my own apartment guys 16. i uh i got a job at dehumidifiers never taken one apart got so much plastic on them i hate uh recycling uh plastic or even having to bring the plastic to the scrapyard i've never even opened one up to bother with it and I'm not going to start with that one or the other one that I put in the front up there. I'm not going to start. But I do see what appears to be... What do they call these units? The wall units. Oh, man. I'm not picking it up with one hand, Grandma. Grandpa. <laughs> Grandma. <laughs> yep, not picking that up with one hand. I just want to make sure that I get my trailer halfway loaded before it starts raining with stuff that's going straight to the scrap yard some of this stuff I don't know I might obviously the air conditioner is going to my house I don't see much Let's see what's going on here mr. Donaldson hey mr. Donaldson hey can you hear me you pocket down me I must have got pocket dialed. Well, maybe it wasn't a pocket dial. Can you hear me now? Hey, there you are. How you doing, buddy? Hey, hey Drew. Hey, man. Um, so you, you're breaking up because I, I can tell you're on a cell phone, aren't you? I am. I'm out in the middle of a yard somewhere. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I'm in trouble. What's the matter? I had a handyman who is a contractor, he's incorporated, he has liability insurance, he worked all day to install a window, yeah. put a new Pella window in, vinyl window, Yeah. but I just inspected it, and um, he didn't install any exterior weep holes. Weep holes? So, what do you mean? So, there are, there's no way for the water through the, the slots in the sill to drain except into the house well, well i mean w aren't there natural weep holes built into the window because he shouldn't have yes. to make weep holes what's that he doesn't have to make any weep holes he just has to make sure that the ones that are uh, uh, supplied are uh, there there he he didn't add that uh, there is a piece that i think that you add to the outside of the window to the sill which i think sloped up instead of down and he didn't add that and so the water doesn't drain anywhere except that I can see into the house. So, uh, I'm, not, I mean, I'm not clear what you're saying, but because uh, you mean you put a window open there, nat they have natural weep holes. You don't have to put anything special up there to make them there. They're just there, built into the window. So, Yeah, but sure. where does the water go when it drains into the slots? Out, out the weep holes. But there are no uh, exterior weep holes, just the interior weep holes in the sill. Uh, there are two interior slots, but nothing on the outside for, it to, who, for the water to drain out. Who did it? What's that? Who did it? Uh, a company called uh, 
Rose Pro Handyman. Never heard of that. He just, he just started in January. <laughs> Never heard of that. He's got liability insurance. Wow. But um, as far as I can see, Drew, the water is draining into the house below the sill. Ah. And I don't know what to do. Um. Well, call. he should be back there fixing it. I mean, what are you going to pay somebody back. else? You're going to pay somebody else to fix it? You're just going to pay somebody else to fix it. You're going to pay Say somebody again, else. Please. I said you're going to pay you're somebody else to fix it. I, I can't hear, understand you, Drew. You're breaking up so badly. I'll I'm call sorry. you when I'm in a better area. Let's see if we can get Siri to tell us a joke. Hey Siri, tell me a joke. Two drums and a cymbal fall off a cliff. Who got that joke? Huh. Uh, Alright Siri. Hey Siri. Your jokes are get your jokes are getting worse and worse. Worse and worse. Yeah. To who? Yeah. Hey, hey, Sarah, your jokes are terrible. To who? Oh, boy, I'm going to say she can't even figure it out. All right. Remember these? Remember these? Uh, I didn't take this apart. It was already apart. This is an aluminum motor. But if you can pop that clip right there, that releases the, this side of the motor completely. I have to cut some cords, free it up, and then all you have to do <coughs> is turn it up on his back. Oh, now, some sometimes I get a clip like this one. You can remove that clip right there. Now grab your hammer. Not all of them have that clip. Some of them are just a plastic fan, like you might have seen earlier in the video if you watched. This one doesn't break that plastic right there, and then you should have. So, why is that spider? Good lord, son! Man, that one scared me. That was like a woolly mammoth spider right there. Man, that's the only thing about getting stuff out of a field, guys. Summertime, everything's out here. Wee. Man, that's scary. 
Now, a woolly mammoth spider, man. Scared me. Man, I don't like you. Why? You can't be anywhere near me. I saw where he went. Spiders, even though this is for flying insects, spiders don't hold up to this stuff, buddy. It will kill a spider. Mosquitoes and other listed bugs. The list is so small I can't read it, but I tell you one thing. Spiders and uh, hornets, it takes a little bit, but they will die. Um, spiders, it takes a little bit, but they will die, so I'll spray the crap out of them. Leave it right there. And that's one reason why I might not take apart much of that uh, a spider right there. Dang, gum it, days, that was a jumping spider. Man. Well. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hornet. He's like big boy hornet too boy Whew. oh i hate stuff that's in a field man i hate field strapping field scrapping what's inside good lord it could have been a whole nest of them come flying out goodness gracious there you go breathe that minute come back to you suck on that for a minute by god Come back to you. I already sprayed these guys, but whew, there's some heavy stuff right here. Uh, he's probably got stuff over here. Didn't he know he had? Of course, I know he knows that I'm not, or can't really, I should say. Take the trash. God, I hate opening things up. Oh, goodness gracious. It can be scary sometimes. I think that might be a good idea to put that refrigerator right on there. Let's move some stuff around. Hmm. Don't want it to get ugly. Ugh. Do not want it to get ugly. Oh, look at there, my golly. I like that. I like that. All right, come here, refrigerator. Come here. I know you want to. We got a spider crawling as fast as he can to get up underneath that refrigerator. Ah, yikes. Oh my goodness. Come here. Come here, refrigerator. Ooh, yeah. Come here. Come over with me. Oh. I hate touching the bottom of these things. But I don't have much choice, do I? go well, let's, let's at least tip it far enough so I can look under it goodness gracious great balls of fire I'm scared to death right now I ain't seen nothing but spiders out here a little slew of them damn it I feel like they're crawling in my pant legs now Whew. I don't know what's in that um, don't know how long it's been sitting here but I don't know what's in that compressor. Uh, I'm probably not going to mess with it at all. So I just want to get that thing in my truck without getting bit. Stinking spider. All right. It was not. Come on, baby. Oh. Not that way. Let me try that again. And uh, tell you what happened. It's just real slippery, and it wasn't squared up square it up properly that's what's going to happen let's try that again guys oh frog hey frog <laughs> two of them there's two frogs you guys need to go for real you need to go you're not going to like where I'm going It'll be a whole new home let's get you guys out of there one of them jumped Get out of there. Oh, he went in behind that. Oh, they're in there. There you go, go. That's gonna be the best thing you ever did. The other guy, don't know. I don't think he's gonna do so well. He 
you win if you ask me. Thank God there's no power. No power. Because he would be chopped ice. Chopped frog. Alright, now, if you don't try to pick that up squared up, you messed up right off the bat. And I did this time. Yeah. Square it up. A lot of people take all that stuff off, I know. So don't complain to me that I'm not. I just don't know much about it. I don't know enough about it, I should say, so I'm taking them as is and just say thank you. But I'm sure nothing's been drained. I don't care how long they've been sitting here. Refrigerators, most of the time, they ain't been drained. Best thing to do. Again. Best thing. Get up there. Oh, that was so close. I hope you all had a good day uh, riding along with me. Uh, like I say, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Appreciate it. Yeah, heavy. Yeah, that is a. Oh, look at the side of that cockroach. Look at him go. Look at him go. Go, man. That thing's prehistoric. Uh oh. Oh, he's. Oh, what did I do? Mess him up? That little bastard. Uh -uh. I gave him a headache or something. He's going to get worse than that because that's a damn big one. That's a cockroach city. Cockroaches, you can crush them things. You ever crush a spider like that? Lord, man, you won't be looking down because uh, sometimes you crush a spider and a million other spiders come out. That is so scary when that happens. This thing's heavy. I'm not putting it on my truck. I mean, I could do it. Probably, maybe, I don't know. Um, but I'd much rather have help with it tomorrow. Man, I can imagine this having, having anything in it, what it does. Get it? Don't like spiders and snakes. Ooh. Don't like spiders and snakes. Yeah. Go with me, man. Man. My, uh, I have a motor sitting on my lift at the house. Let me tell you, that would be super convenient because um, I'm by myself. Stuff heavy, man. This stuff is so heavy. Now, let's see what we can do. I'd love to be able to get that bottom up that high, but I can't do it. I'm gonna try something else. I hear a truck. I'm gonna try something else. Silly Billy. What do you think, guys? Sit it up on top of that? And then push it in? I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. Oh, boy, that's a lot. No. That's one step higher. I just hate that I haven't had a chance to look underneath it. Oh. I mean, it's only one way to do it, right? to use every muscle that I had every muscle I had whoo that thing was heavy What's next? Yeah. over there stand it in that same spot awesomeness Field finds, field finds, call that. I'm not gonna 
throw away somebody's bike. Still rides. I'm not going to overdo it. I don't want to look like Beverly Hillbillies going down the road. That's for sure. I said we'll go ahead and take what we have to the scrapyard. Come back tomorrow, get our second load with his tractor. Tomorrow's Saturday, guys. Hope you have a blessed Friday night. Stay safe. Till next time, what's next? You're going to have to subscribe to find out. Thanks. It's free. He also told me I could have these. You know them things is heavy. Got that concrete in the bottom of them. I'm going to let him help put these on my thing with a tractor. Just not liking that ugly spot them things are sitting in. But these are all them ones with them big heavy concrete things in the bottom of them, I think. Yeah. Straight to the scrapyard, all three of them. All I'll take is the cord. 1,040 pounds, which, which means I loaded a pretty good sized load of scrap metal today. That's what that means. Didn't do bad at all. What they got up in the machine today? Not Kevin. Not Kevin. Billy, where is Billy? Billy has, I mean, yeah, where's Billy? They must have figured out how to uh, get rid of one more worker. I don't know. Billy is not here. Where did Billy go? Boy, this place is just incredible. <laughs> Doesn't even look like the same place anymore. It's like, what in the world? This does not look like the same place. Even when my camera says it's at 100%, crazy enough, some of my batteries lied to me so bad. It's at 
But either way, we're about done here. Let's go see what we made, guys. Keep it separated. If you can separate it, turn it into more money, they do. More money. Stop on scale, wait for buzzer. When the buzzer goes off, get the heck off the scale. So somebody- All right guys, so it's about, I guess what is it, 10.30? Have a blessed day, my friend. See you tomorrow. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's 11.22. I got to that place this morning. Gosh, it might've been somewhere it's right around eight, nine, 10, 11 and a half. So it's three and a half hours. $136 minus some gas money, obviously. So yeah, $136 even. Not bad. I'm not gonna complain about that. Three and a half hours, so it's not bad. Let me see. Hey Sari, what is 136 divided by Sorry? Two Hey, Siri, what is 136 divided by 2.5? It's 54.4. $54 an hour. I got to take $20 out of that. So, hey, I'm not going to complain about that whatsoever. Lord have mercy. Grandpa is blessed. That's better than working for the man by the hour. Hey, Siri, tell me a clean joke. 